Hey, it's Patrick O'Driscoll, co-founder of Visionary Group. In this video, I'm going to show you a super tactical how-to walkthrough on how exactly I set up DM ads for fitness coaches. So um, inside the live coaching uh, ad account here, um, and if you are, you know, you have a coaching business, you can literally follow this step by step, and immediately I guarantee you'll start getting leads if you do everything correctly. Um, so what I have here is I have my winning campaign that we spent the most uh, on here. I'm gonna actually just create a new ad uh, within here. Um, but what I'll actually do is, in the, if, you, if you're unfamiliar with what you're seeing right here, this is Ads Manager. So in Facebook, you have Ads Manager. Um, I'm not gonna walk through how to actually set up a ad account here. Uh, there's plenty of videos if you search how to set up a Facebook ad account for beginners or whatever, super easy. All you have to get to is adsmanager.facebook.com. Once you see this screen, uh, you won't have these campaigns because obviously you probably haven't run ads before, uh, but once you get here, you can start building. So uh, I already have a campaign that's set up. I'm actually gonna just mix in a new ad into this already winning um, campaign that I have going on. Um, but I'm just gonna show you what I would do to fully create it from scratch, right? So you click create, the big green button. And so we have campaign, just to watch the ad account, we have campaigns, we have ad sets, and we have ads. Campaigns, like overarching, then you have different ad sets if you wanna test different audiences or different targeting uh, or different placements. And then the ads, that's where we test like creative description copy. Um, so that's kind of the way it works, kind of like a, kind of like a, pyramid, sort of like a tree that branches off. Uh, you have the campaign up the top, then you have multiple ad sets, and then multiple ads within that ad set. So that's how an ad, ad account is set up. Um, you click, click create here. Now in this video, we're talking about DM ads, where leads would DM you a keyword such as uh, tone or yes or me. It's just a hand raiser ad and they would just DM that to you and then you would send them either a resource. So we either do lead magnets where that's where you send a resource to uh, or you do a actual like ready for your next steps and try to book the call a little bit more uh, direct call to action. Um, so if you're setting up a campaign from scratch, you would go into campaigns, you select create and then you do engagement because uh, we're looking for right here, Messenger, Instagram, and WhatsApp. Click continue and then you would do manual engagement campaign because uh, typically we want to do everything kind of manual this one is like a Facebook automatically sets it up for you but I would do manual and I would select continue and then once you have that set up you'll see here you'll have the campaign level the ad set level and the ad level so these are the three levels like I said to so the campaign what we do here is I'd recommend uh, just turning on advantage advantage campaign budget I think it's very easy especially for DM ad. just keep keep it broad so we're not you know, segmenting right now. So we have advantage campaign. You can start from, I'd recommend really $20, $30, $50 a day at the minimum uh, to start on a campaign if you're doing advantage campaign budget for initial tests. Uh, I'm assuming you're a beginner here, you're not trying to spend tons of money on ads right now. Uh, it really depends on the client's budget. Then on the ad set level, uh, we're gonna connect the actual um, Instagram and everything like that. And then we'll figure out the audience controls. Um, so right for a lot of our accounts, we're actually keeping it very broad. So if you've seen other Facebook ad tutorials in the past, in 2024, we're keeping things very, very broad, uh, which means that you don't need to do a ton of audience testing. Now this really depends, and we have some coaches where we do do audience testing, but I would start, if you're completely new, just to keep all these broad, do advantage plus audience. Don't really touch any of this. I think the only thing you need to touch really is this part where you're just figuring out the placements uh, and signing into your account there. But other than that, keep it very broad just to start. Over time, we might be able to you know, duplicate this ad set and test against another audience. But to start, I always recommend keeping it as broad as possible. Then on the ad level, uh, this is where you upload your media, your text, and your call to action. So I'll show you how, I'll literally, set, I'm setting up an ad uh, for you, but I'm just showing you the process and how these three uh, steps work. So I'm gonna jump into my already winning campaign here. This is what I am using. Um, I'm going to, I'm actually gonna delete this campaign that I created here. Let's definitely not delete the winning campaign. Okay, so we have the TVG, and this is my winning one. Okay, so I'm just gonna duplicate this. So duplicate just means you can duplicate the exact same settings. Keep current state, okay, boom. Uh, actually, you know what, I'm actually not even gonna do that because I'm gonna create a new ad set here. So I'm gonna create in here, I'm gonna create a new ad set. I'm gonna call it just July, whoops, July call to action. 
All right, my camera just gave out for a second, but like I said, I was in campaign level. You create your campaign, and then I have my uh, ad set level. The purpose of this video, I'm just gonna duplicate this, but you would just create a completely new one here. So I'm gonna duplicate this ad set. Okay, so I'm calling this one July CTA. So I'm not gonna get too much into naming conventions, things like that for DM ads, super simple, keep it so you can understand what you're doing. I recommend calling the campaign the objective, so like engagement, DMs, um, and then if you wanna test like different audiences, you can. Like I said, typically with the ad set level, we're keeping things very, very, very broad. Uh, what you'll see is I don't do a ton and ton of targeting here. Um, and then on here, you're gonna see all these old targeting. I'm actually gonna remove a lot of this. This is where we had a campaign targeting um, brides. So I'm actually gonna switch this to be completely uh, use advantage plus audience. So, so what I recommend you have is advantage plus audience and then just have the age maybe and then the gender being women or men depending on the target demo. So everything here should be pretty broad, which is great. It means that you don't need to do a ton of tests for like audience testing. Then if we go to the ad level, I'm gonna delete this old ad and we're gonna add video. I uploaded my ad creative here. This is the video that I'm gonna be using for the ad. I'm gonna let that upload and boom, we have the ad here. You can start to see a, um, a uh, preview there. I'm gonna name this ad video one, pretty straightforward. Again, we don't have a, we're not testing tons of creatives like other accounts that we manage. This is super straightforward, so we're keeping it nice and simple. So because I duplicated it, we have some old copy in here. So I'm gonna show you, this is some other copy that I prepared for this, inspired by the client, with a call to action to DM me tone. So basically, um, you know, I won't get too heavy into the, the copywriting portion, but when we write the copy, we really want to agitate the problems, present the solution here. Um, you know, talking about, you know, if they've tried so many different things before, why hasn't it worked? Uh, maybe you tried fad diets, all this stuff. Well, I have the solution for you. We have, you know, to build a foundation, lose body fat. This is what we do. And then with the call to action to DM toned, right? Okay. So primary text, this is like the caption, like you're in Instagram and you're creating a post. Okay, so we have the primary text here, and then we have the um, the headlines. Or since it's just Instagram, we actually don't have any headlines. If we're advertising on Facebook, we would have headlines. So literally, it's just the primary text, which is just the caption. Um, you can create multiple variations, like if you want to test. All right, my camera's giving out on me, but we're back. So like I was saying, we have the primary text here. You can create multiple variations if you wanna add a text option. Uh, but again, keep it simple, just to start. Make small iterations. Again, just get this live, run it for a few days and see what results you get um, without you know doing a bunch of different variations. So we have the primary text here. We have the creative we're using. Um, we have all this, we call it video one to keep it super simple. And then the call to action, send Instagram message. And then for this, this is an old uh, DM automation that we had. We're gonna do create new for the template. I'm gonna do edit. And then we should be able to, yeah, so. Uh, message me toned, right? The call to action is really important for your next steps. And I'm just gonna copy this little emojis, keep it nice and cute. Okay, boom, okay. Boom, so it's just kind of reiterating, hey, message me tone for your next steps. And then I'm gonna do toned. And then I'm gonna actually just remove these. I sometimes do various uh, toned CTI. So depending on the call to action, super simple. I like having just one option. Instead of giving a bunch, then they just are selecting it. And it's usually with a funnel, you get one option, just tell them what to do, and they'll do it more likely. Save that. So we have that. Save that message template. Boom, 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 boom. Okay. And we're pretty much good to go. So quick recap. Always check your work. Look over. Primary text looks good. Uh, we have the call to action to send an Instagram DM. We have the toned automated response here. Uh, and then we have here, we have the ad set. We're keeping everything broad. The only targeting that we're doing is the age and the, and the, uh, the gender here. And then we're doing a campaign um, uh, campaign budget here uh, to optimize there. So uh, for this, we're gonna jump here and then we're going to publish here. This will actually launch the ad. So here we go. And...
then just like that, very shortly, we should have an ad that is uploaded. I'm gonna exit out of this. <clears throat> Boom, it is published. So as you can see here, campaign, we have the new ad set. This is the one I just created. It will say ads inactive at first because what's doing now is processing. Basically, Facebook scans it to make sure it's all safe and good to go. Uh, it should go live pretty soon. This account is very healthy. Um, and then to monitor results here is a just quick little um, thing. This is maximum. So again, I've worked on this account for a year. Uh, you've spent 10 grand. Budget is relatively low on this account. Um, but you know we're getting good, good consistent results, and she's been able to fill her pipeline with leads and calls. And sometimes that's all you need. If you want to spend, uh, you know, a little bit on ads, you can certainly do it. That's why I'm showing you this account. This is a beginner style account for you to set up and just start getting leads. 935 leads at seven dollars uh, with this winning campaign. I think even this month uh, we're at five dollars a lead. Usually I aim for five to three to eight dollars a lead. Is typically what I'm seeing for the messaging ads. And then here, this new ad set, this is what's gonna be launched, and then this will get some spend, and then hopefully drive some conversions here. So that is how you set up DM ads, and then what will happen is you'll start getting Instagram DMs flooding your phone, trying to work with you, and then you set them and book them onto a call, and you close them, and you make your money back. So uh, I'll create more videos about how to track performance and stuff, but that is how to set up an Instagram DM ad, the simplest ad to set up in my opinion, and a great way to get some high ticket coaches immediately. So please let me know if you have any questions. If you want me to come into your business and build this all out, this and more, 100% done for you to scale your fitness coaching business, uh, I'll leave a link down below to book a call with me or shoot me a message on Instagram. But yeah, this will generate leads and get her a ton of deals this month, which I'm excited about. So if you want this for your business, jump in and I'll set this all up done for you. Have a fantastic rest of your week and I'll speak with you soon. Take care.